controversy in historic match they told us that we had to live with the decision. Ireland may have scored a historic victory over New Zealand in Dunedin, but it was not a match without controversy. Four players were sent from the field throughout the match. NZS Leicester Fawinga Nyuku and Ofa Tuunga Fossi, and Ireland S Peter O'Mahony were all handed yellow cards by referee Yako Paper while Angus Tavau who had entered the fray to cover Tuunga S absence at scrum time was shown a red, after just three minutes of action for a dangerous tackle on Ireland centre Gary Ringrose. It was what happened at the scrum, following Tavau's ejection that has attracted significant controversy, post-match, however. Although Taivo had only come onto the field due to Tuunga Fossi's absence, the All Blacks had to take an additional player off the field to ensure they were still playing with a man down. Blindside flanker Dalton Papali'i was the unlucky man in this case. At the first scrum following Taivo's dismissal, the All Blacks were required to bring an additional prop onto the field as under law 3.18, a team must operate with three front rowers at scrum time, if possible. As such, test debutant Aidan Ross entered the game but as he was not capable of playing a tight head prop, uncontested scrims were required. Under law 3.17, if golden oldies, scrims are forced due to players being sent from the field, the team that has caused the issue is effectively required to send an additional player from the field as punishment. When Ross joined the game, Artie Sevilla left the park as a direct swap, but that still left the All Blacks with 13 men when they should have been operating.